Kit, I am so proud of you. Thanks. The test is really hard, but I can't believe I actually got an A-plus on it. I know. I'm very proud of you. Yeah, I like being homeschooled. It's easier than going to public school. Yeah, I know. But I'm still proud of you for that test. You work just as hard as anybody who's public schooled. Thanks, Mom. Oh, that sounds like your sister. Mom, break open the champagne. My report card is awesome. That's nice, honey. I did really well. You want to see it? I'll look at it in a little while. Well, I was just telling Kit how proud I was of her that she got an A-plus on her test. Good for you, Kit. Thanks. So, Mom, will you look at my report card? I'll look at it later, honey. Right now, I have to get dinner started. Okay? Yeah. I'll be in my room doing my homework. Okay. I'll let you know when dinner's ready. So, Kit, tell me, um, what, um, what, what kind of questions were on the test? Well, you see... At least my computer won't ignore me. I feel like I don't matter in this family. It's like I'm invisible. I'm gonna email Emily. Ask her to come over. She won't ignore me the way mom is. And Kit. Come in. Hi, Naomi. Hey, what's up? Um, dinner's pretty much ready, and I need you to set the table. That's what you came in here for, to ask me to set the table? Yes. Please, will you? I'm not going to set it. Why don't you set it? How come you never do anything I ask you to do? Well, if you don't know, I'm not going to tell you. Is something bothering you, Naomi? Like, you care? Okay, fine. I'll set the table myself. You're acting ridiculous. I don't know what you're angry about. But if you don't tell me, I can't help you. I don't need your help. Just leave me alone. Dinner will be ready in five minutes. Whatever. Who is it? It's Emily. Come on in, Em. Hey. Hey, not that I'm not glad to see you, but what are you doing here? I came to talk to you. Oh, well, have a seat. So what do you want to talk about? Your mom called me. My mom called you? Yeah. She says that you're angry about something. You could tell me. Why? So you could blab it to my mother? How dare you and my Ma mom make a deal about me behind my back? I'm concerned about you too. You seem so angry lately. I'm not angry, okay? Well, it sounds like you're angry. Well, I'm not. If you're going to come here and just try to get into my life, then just leave. Hi. Hi, Naomi. Hi, Emily. Kit, get out of my room. What did I do? Get out. But, but, go. Go in your room and play with the dolls or something. Just go. Leave me alone. Go to mom. Hang out with her. <laughs> I think I see what the problem is. What are you talking about? You're mad about your sister. For well, now we gotta figure out why. What are you, a therapist? You know I'm taking psychology and 
at our school. So I guess I know a little bit about the human behavior and stuff. I'm sorry. It's just, just tell me. I'm just tired of Kit getting all my mom's attention and I'm left on the sidelines. It's like it don't even exist. Like, you know how I got straight A's on my report card? Yeah. Well, I tried showing it to my mom, but she was gushing over how Kit got an A plus on one test, but my mom doesn't care what's on my report card. Did you tell her what was on your report card? No, I wanted her to see for herself. Just assign it anyway so I could bring it back to school. Oh. Well, did you show her yet? I tried to. Even during dinner, I tried to. And she kept saying, not now, not now. What is your mom doing now? I don't know, probably on her computer like she always is. You mean like you always are, too. That's different. I'm a teenager. I have to have my electronics. <laughs> Maybe you should tell your mom how you feel and stop taking your anger out on Kit. I'm not taking my anger out on Kit. Yes, you are. Judged by what I saw, you are taking your anger out on her. I think you and your mom need to sit down, and then you need to talk to Kit and apologize. Apologize for what? You figure it out. I have to go. Are you mad at me, Em? No, I'm not mad. I'm worried about you. But I don't know how to help you. I've done all I could do. Please. Make peace with your mom to begin with. I gotta go. I don't know why, Mommy, but Naomi's so mad at me and I didn't do anything to her. Honey, Naomi's been angry for a long time. Well, lately anyway. I know. But it's whatever she's angry about, I don't think I have anything to do with it. Do I? I don't know, but I'm going to go in her room and talk to her. Why don't you go in your room and play? I'm going to talk to Naomi. Okay. Come in. Hi, Naomi. Hi, Mom. What do you want? Are you going to yell at me? Because I know Kit ran to you and told you that I yelled at her and everything. Well, we'll deal with that part later. I would like to talk to you. Why? Put your computer away. Because I'm going to talk to you. Can I? Can I sit down? It's your house. Do it. Do whatever. Okay. <sighs> let me, let me, I'll sit in your desk chair. So what did you want to talk about? Well, I've noticed that things between you and I have been more than a little chaotic. Chaotic? That's how you explain it? I know you're angry with me, but where was this anger coming from? I mean, what did I do? You don't know? You, hon you honestly don't know what you did? No, I don't. I love you more than anything. I want us to get along. Please, just tell me where the anger is coming from. <sighs> you're just going to think it's pathetic. No, I'm not, honey. I'm on your side. That's a first. Just tell me what's going on. Well, okay. I study hard to get all A's. Yes, you are very hard, and I'm proud of you for that. So why does it feel like I'm invisible around here? Is that how you feel? Most of the time I do, especially lately. I mean, you're always spending time with Kit. When I want to spend time with you, you're like, not right now, not right now. And that's why I sometimes, sometimes what? That's why I sometimes don't like you very much because you're always with Kit and I feel left out. You never ask me to hang out with you guys. It's always you and Kit, you and Kit, but it's never me, you and Kit. 
and it's especially never me and you. Honey, if you were feeling this way, why didn't you tell me? I don't know. I didn't want to appear immature or anything. Honey, telling me how you feel is not showing immaturity. In fact, it's showing maturity. You gotta, you gotta tell me these things or I'm not gonna realize it. Well, you should have realized it without me telling you. You're the mom, aren't you? Yes. But even moms aren't perfect. Honey, I am really sorry that you've been feeling like this. It's okay. No, it's not okay. Is that why you yelled at Kit this evening when your friend was over? Yeah, I, I guess I kind of took my anger out on her because she's the one that you've been paying more attention to. But I'm going to apologize to her. I know that wasn't fair of me to yell at her and she didn't really do anything. That's good. But, um... How about Saturday? You and I go to the mall and I'll get a sale for Kit. You mean just the two of us? Just the two of us. Sounds good. I love you, Naomi. I love you too. Okay, well, I want you to get ready for bed, okay? Okay. Love you. Love you too. Good night. Good night. Come in. Hey. Hi. What do you need? I need you to forgive me. What? I'm sorry that I yelled at you when Emily was here. I was just upset about other things. And I took my anger out on you and that wasn't right of me. I'm your big sister. I should be nicer to you. What did I do that made you mad at me? I told you it wasn't necessarily what you did. I was mad at my mom for some reason, for a reason. And, well, I guess in a way you were part of the problem. How? Because you got all mom mom's attention and now I'm left on the sidelines. But I realized that I just had a talk with mom and I think we have an understanding and I wanted to apologize because I wasn't very fair to you either. It's okay, Naomi. I forgive you. And I'm sorry you've been feeling this way for a while. It has been a while that I've been feeling that way, but I don't think I'm going to feel that way anymore. Next time something's bothering me, that's to do with the family, I'm definitely going to go to mom before, it gets to, before I get too angry. Sounds like a plan. Girls, time to get ready for bed now. Okay, well, I'm going to go hop in the shower and get ready for bed. Okay. Good night, Kit. Good night, Naomi. Oh, good night. Good night.